What is this? Mad? You're, you're making a morning video? That's impossible. Like, seriously, when the last time I did something in the morning? Well, I'm only doing this because I gotta make it quick because I gotta head out. I got a lot to do this weekend, so... Yeah, Promo's Neverland review, that's coming up on Sunday. Don't worry, Index and JoJo will still be reviewed today, but Promo's Neverland, I'll push back on Sunday. Or Saturday, depends on my schedule. No further ado, let's get into this must-read. Oh my god, I'm freaking must-read. I haven't did one since, like, what, Beastars or something. Anyways, lately I've been telling you guys that there are good isekai out there. There are really good isekai out there. And besides Shield Hero, besides Slime, and of course I've been shoving Mashuko Tensai down your throats every freaking week. But what about other Isekai? I need to prove to you guys that there are other Isekai out there that are worth reading. <clears throat> Stuff that completely differentiates from the other Isekai that truly stands above the rest. And recently on some sites, a uh, very personal favorite of mine, not my most favorite, but a very personal favorite of mine, has been greenlit for freaking anime. Oh my god. And it's called Ascendance of a Bookworm. The fantasy novel gives an anime. Okay, this was based off a, a J novel, and it so far altogether sold over 1 million copies. That's freaking amazing. Especially for something that not a lot of people have been talking about. Because, let's face it, not a lot of Americans are web novel slash light novel readers. Because it's hard for us to get to the stuff without having some fan translations coming for us. So that's the best we can do until the stuff gets legalized over here because it needs to get licensed. So, Ascendance of a Bookworm is about woman who is completely obsessed with books and spent her time inside a library reading books. To one day... She had an accident and she died. No, she wasn't hit by a truck. I believe, as I recall to my memory, she actually fell down trying to get a book and died. However, she is not really reincarnated, but more like her soul was swiped into someone else who was dying at the same time as she was. And she got into this little girl's body who lives at the bottom of the barrel inside the kingdom, while well, her family does. So... What's so amazing about this, man? What's so amazing about this Isekai that separates it from the rest? Well, this Isekai isn't about going to another world, serving food, going to another world, collecting chicks, and being OP, or defeating a demon king, and being a hero, but more, it's like Spice and a Wolf in a way. Not much traveling, but it has to do with economics, education, and of course, the cultural system in their world. So you're not getting much of the action adventure, but more of an understanding of how their world works. The girl is is brought, well not brought back, but her soul is trapped inside of a body that also died at the same time, and her name is Maine. Now, it is up to Maine, well this new Maine, to understand her life situation and to kind of act natural within the world she lives in, including her family. Because even though she's in this new world, she has to act like the previous main does by remembering how the other characters see her as. So that's one of the challenges she has to deal with. Not to mention, she is completely obsessed with books. Now, however, back in the day, back in medieval times, not everyone could get their hands on a book. Hell, they couldn't get their hands on a scroll. Back in then, paper was expensive, and it was hard to make. The concept of making paper was just not there yet. Only for the rich people. That's right. Back in the day, hell, even when you were in church, only the pastors themselves were allowed to carry scrolls and books around. But nobody else. They had to listen to everything what the preacher said through mouth and mouth only. They couldn't read it themselves. So, since Maine has been brought into this world at the current bottom of the system, she now must find a way for her to read. Because she's a totally obsessed with books. She loves books. She'll even read a manual she has to because she just wants to read. However, that world won't allow her to. Now that they mention that, she also comes with a little handicap. She is brought into this world with the girl who died because she had a very, very weak body. I mean, so weak, the girl can't even run, nor or less even walk for long distances because she'll get extremely tired and will faint. She had some certain special illness about her that caused her to collapse 
over. And so most of the times you'll see her being picked up by someone or one of her childhood friends are carrying her, carrying them on their back because she just can't exert herself. So she is more of a brainy kind of person who trying to find a way to get into books. And the only way to do that is find some way to climb this economical ladder, this social status ladder as well. By doing that, it's by improving her reputation, by finding some way to get money so she can read and read books. That's the entire main goal of the story. However, of course, other things do slip into the story of different characters and different situations that will occur throughout the story. I know how this brought me in because actually I do I understand why this brought me in. I'm interested in stuff like Spice and Wolf and other shows where it's about philosophy and economics and even cultural understanding. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why it brought me in because it was unique and it was very interesting. Unfortunately, I actually got into the story, well, same thing with Moshoko Tensai. I got in it because I read the manga first, but I needed more. So I went and got and read the novels instead on um, NovelPlanet.com because I can't get them here because they're not here yet. See all these novels I've been reading illegally because they're just not here in America yet. Trust me, if, if, if these novels were here in America, I would buy them in a heartbeat. But they're just not. So yes, the anime has been confirmed. And I am super duper excited about this shit, man. So before the anime hits, why not try reading the manga or the novels? But I would recommend read the, no read the manga first to so get the gist of the characters and how they look like. And understand the situation, then I would step my toe into the novels, so that way you'll have a better understanding, you can picturize the characters in your head, because um, when it comes to the manga, they're actually already on the third part of the, they're adapting, they already finished the first part of the series, but now they're adapting the second and third part at the same time for some reason, but... It takes too long for me to translate into English. I'm talking about the Raws. Like, they're only the, the second part and third part have not been translated into English yet. Only the first part. And even then, there's still a couple of chapters short for completing that. So I would recommend to you guys to actually read the manga first, but then read the novels. Because it's not done. It's taking them forever to um, translate it. So... If you want more of it, you have to read it all. Same way with me with Mushoku Tansai and other um, manga I have read. I need, I want it more, so I have to read the novels. So, anyways, that is it for today. Well, not well for this morning. Like I get ready, actually, I got a lot to do today, and I'll probably be coming back a little bit late to do my actual reviews for Index and JoJo Bizarre Adventures. So yes, read Ascendance of a Bookworm. You can probably find them. Well, you can't find the novel on kissmanga.com and read it from there or any other site that has manga. You'll find it there, and you will I bet you will enjoy it. No action adventure, but you'll probably like the culture aspect of it instead. So anyway, that's like that for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys go read Ascendance of a Bookworm. It's one hell of a read. So anyways, gotta go. Matt Crown, out.